welcome to a new video. So today is May twenty third, aka World Turtle Day. So as you know, I have a pet red deer slider turtle named Leo, who I love very much, and I wanted to make today's video dedicated to some of the most fascinating, interesting, and colorful species of turtles. all around the world so i decided to invite some fellow turtle youtubers including the turtle girl dan the guppy man and greg's turtle haven to this channel to talk about their dream turtle species so today's video is about five amazing turtle species from four amazing youtube uh, three amazing youtubers there's no going back No going back. There's no going back to your own life. I'm living in the past. We're over that. I'm feeling it tonight. Riding on the dizzying heights. Hey, this is Greg from Greg's Turtle Haven. Uh, happy World Turtle Day. I uh, just wanted to say my dream turtle species, and that's a hard question because I've already kind of worked with all the stuff that I've always dreamed of since I was a kid. Uh, but if I did have to say one turtle that has fascinated me a lot lately, uh, since my last trip to Thailand, I was really fascinated with the Asian big-headed turtle and getting to see where they live and getting to see that uh, there's not really a whole lot of them left. Uh, it would definitely be a dream for me to get to maybe move to Thailand or go back to Thailand and participate in some kind of breeding and repopulation uh, effort with the Asian big-headed turtle. So, uh, yeah, hope. <laughs> Hope that's a good answer for Dream Turtle, and uh, hope you guys have a great World Turtle Day. Y'all take care. Hey everyone, it's the Turtle Girl. I'd have to say my dream turtle species would be the Fly River Turtle, also sometimes known as the Pig Nose Turtle. I just love them because they're so unique and so different, and in my opinion, almost kind of look like a freshwater sea turtle. However, they are heavily protected, and so I don't see that like happening anytime soon. It's very difficult to obtain them to keep in captivity, at least in a legal way. And we want to be protecting turtles and their habitat, so that's really important. If I had to pick a runner-up, it would be the diamondback terrapin, like you see back here. This is my diamondback terrapin named Hoku, and I love diamondback terrapins also because of their beauty and also because they are also unique. They're actually a brackish water species, which means that in the wild they. Actually, live in both wa in water that is a mix of salt water and brackish, and so the salinity is somewhere in between, which is really interesting. They actually have these specialized salt glands that help them process that water so that they can actually live in salt water. So I love diamondback terrapins. They're also protected species. So I just like to take this moment to remind you to be respectful of turtles in the wild and do your best to protect and preserve their natural habitats so that they can be enjoyed by future generations to come. Thanks, Marshall, so much for having me on your channel. Bye. So, what's my favorite slash dream turtle species that I would one day love to keep? It's The green sea turtle. If you don't know, it's a really, truly majestic sea turtle, and its swimming pattern is truly amazing. Sadly, it's extremely, and I mean, really endangered in the wild. And I think there are a few thousands of or hundreds left, so it's really critically endangered. So one day I would love to keep it and possibly breed it and put the hatchlings back into the ocean. That way I can basically help conserve the green sea turtle. As for freshwater species of turtles, I would love to keep a soft shell turtle because their digging behavior and how they just completely camouflage or just surround themselves in sand it's just truly amazing and truly fascinating with me and i would love to see that in one of my aquariums both of these species of turtles however are strictly prohibited to keep in india unless you are a zoo otherwise you could have up to 10 years of jail time and up to in dollars 25000 dollars in fine so 
I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> Hey Varshiel, so you ask me what is my dream turtle species. I have a little bit of a list, but if I could only pick one, I would say that it's the fly river turtle, also known as the pig nose turtle. They're basically freshwater sea turtles. I think that they're absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning, and if I had the money or resources, I would absolutely love to have one. The issue is that most of them are poached from the wild and then imported into the United States illegally and elsewhere in the world and then sold for upwards of $2,000 each. Um, so I absolutely love the Fly River Turtle. I think that they're one of the coolest species there are, but they also have to have extremely clean water, a really, really big ecosystem for them to live in. And also they eat like fresh fruits and veggies and they eat a lot and they get really big. So. As it stands right now, I personally don't have the resources to, to take care of one, but I'd love to have one someday. Happy World Turtle Day, buddy. Special thanks to the Turtle Girl, Dan the Guppy Man, and Greg's Turtle Haven for being in today's video. I really appreciate it. All their channel links are in the description below and possibly the iCard if I'm not lazy. I believe the Turtle Girl made a video about World Turtle Day 2 which also in the iCard. So I hope this video gave you a whole new fascination towards turtles, reptiles and animals in general. And I hope you can spread awareness on how a lot of species of turtles are getting endangered and extinct so you can help them. And that's the whole point of World Turtle Day. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, like, share and subscribe. Basically click every button you can find below like a toddler except the dislike hopefully. And... Happy World Turtle Day. If you want to support me, you can do it on Patreon. The link is below. I really need some extra donations for the giant 500 gallon turtle fish tank I'm building. And until the next time, peace out.